In this video, we're going to go over some of the attribute methods that you can use in jQuery. And the first one is just ATTR, which of course stands for attribute. Now, I've added to the code here an IMG tag where we can put an image. But we're going to leave it empty because we're first going to add the image using our jQuery method. Now, this is the folder with all of our files. Now, if you're going to follow along, I want you to copy two different images into this folder because we're going to use them in this lesson. So again, we're going to keep this IMG tag here empty and we're going to add it down here. So first thing we want to do is select the IMG. So we'll put that here. And then the first value in this method is whatever attribute you want. So it could be an href attribute, it could be a language attribute, whatever attribute you want to use. In this case, it's src for the source attribute. And by the way, this is not case sensitive, so you can put whatever case you want in here. So again, the first value is the HTML attribute. The second one is the value. And in this case, we want to specify the image that we want to display on our web page. And in this case, it's going to be caesar.png. Make sure you get that file extension correct, whichever one you're using. And we don't need to specify a directory because it's in the root of our folder. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and open this up in Chrome. And if we hit our button, hey, there's our image of Julius Caesar himself. Now let's do something a little bit different. Let's actually load this when the page loads. So we'll actually just load the image and not use jQuery. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap images. So when the user clicks this button, will display the other Caesar 2 image. So we'll just put two here. So this one will be loaded initially, and then we'll use jQuery to go ahead and swap images. So let's close this out. Let's go ahead and load our page again. And if we hit our button, we've got our new Julius Caesar image that says new here, just to make sure it actually is the Caesar 2 image. Great. Now you can also remove HTML attributes from your web page, and that is the remove attribute. You do have to actually use a capital A here. So that's the method remove attribute. And in this case, we're just gonna remove our source attribute. So we don't need this second value here. So we'll just get rid of this. And again, you can remove any type of HTML attribute you want, an href, a language attribute, whatever attribute. But in this case, again, we're removing the SRC attribute. So this page will initially load our Caesar image and then we'll remove it with the remove attribute method. So let's go ahead and refresh our page. Whoops, we need to save first. Now we'll refresh our page again, and if we hit this button, it's gone. Bye-bye. So that's how those two methods work. I will see you guys in the next video.